Hello and welcome to Kitchen Inspirations. My name is Carmelo and I want to thank you for joining us here today at our Sojourushi America Corporation headquarters down in Torrance, California. So today we're going to make coffee using this Dome Brew coffee maker. It is the newest in our lineup of coffee makers and I'm excited to show you what it's all about. So with that said, we also have a great offer for this President's Day a weekend that you just can't miss. So if that sounds exciting to you, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you fill the water up to the desired quantity. Now for this coffee maker, you can make up to 12 cups of hot coffee. In addition, uh, you can make up to eight cups of iced coffee. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the pre-infusion one of four cup cores, which I'm going to talk about later on. But for now, let's go ahead and just see how it's done. So once you have the water, you want to go ahead and put the water into the water tank. So let me just go ahead and quickly do that. So you could hear over here, the water is just being poured into the water tank. Okay. So once I have the water in the, the water tank, we want to go ahead and put the filter paper in the filter basket. So let me quickly show you over here in the close-up cam just to see what kind of uh, filter paper we need. So we need the size four cone shaped filter paper. Now you can see here over here in the bottom, you would want to fold this bottom towards you, facing you. So once you have it facing you, you want to get the side and kind of fold that the other side. Okay, so you could kind of see that it's right there. It's folded on the bottom towards me and then this side is folded the opposite direction going that way. Okay, so once you have that, you want to go ahead and open it just like you would on a regular cone. Go ahead and place that in the filter basket right here. So once it's uh, placed in there, the next thing you want to do, of course, is put your uh, cups of your coffee in there. Now, we only recommend that you put uh, coffee grounds as other types of coffee might actually damage the appliance. So we don't recommend that. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the coffee grounds over here. So we have, okay, perfect. So once that is set, we are ready to make some coffee. Okay, so this next step is where the magic happens. So let's go again to the close-up so you can see what I'm talking about. Over here, we have, what do you see? It says classic. Now, you can see that I could kind of turn this around and if I go all the way to the classic side, this is where you make a light, smooth brew. Now, if you go all the way to the bold side, now that would make a more dynamic, bold and strong brew. You can, of course, mess with it and just go to the middle, which will make it kind of a middle, uh, you know, kind of regular coffee. Or you could just kind of really like really pinpoint your uh, preference right here. OK, but since I like uh, coffee more on the lighter side, I'm going to go ahead and choose the classic. So once it's done right here, we would choose the pre infused one of four cup course. So let me go ahead and press that. You will see red blinking lights. Once that happens, go ahead and click the brew. And just like that, it'll make your coffee in about a few minutes. So that is how easy you can make coffee using our new uh, Dome Brew coffee makers. Okay, so if you have any questions at all at any time, go ahead and please ask us. I am, that's why I am here. I am excited to, of course, show you these. And feel free to ask anytime. And it is Friday, so happy Friday. Do you have any plans? If you do, do let us know down in the comments. Okay, so now since we're waiting, if you do like this content, if you are appreciating, then go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And we are multi-streaming in Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and click that notification button so you know exactly when we have these great offers for you. Okay, so now we are waiting for the coffee to brew. Now, what makes these coffee makers so special? Well, these are our new Dome Brew coffee makers. And uh, so this one over here, you can see that they look very similar. However, they do have a big difference. Can you spot it? I'm sure you can. This one over here has a control panel, which you can see over here. It has a little, you know, circle just kind of going around in circles, right? Now that is telling you that the coffee is currently being brewed. 
Over here, however, you don't have any control panel. It's just very simple, just straight, uh, very classic look. Now, for these, you might be telling me, hey, Carmelo, I want to buy one of those coffee makers, but you know, which one should I buy? And really, uh, they make top high quality coffee. Everything is really the same. However, it's just the features that you want. You might want to go for this one. If you don't want any features, if you just want your classic cup of coffee, whether it's iced or whether it's hot, then you can't go wrong with our classic look. Now, this is a very simple one. Just one touch operation system. Once you put the coffee in here, just like, how, just like how we did over here, all you would do is go ahead and click the on switch. And just like that, it'll start brewing. One thing to note though, once you do finish uh, the, the brewing the coffee, go ahead and turn that off as it'll turn the hot plate underneath. Okay, this one, however, has more features, which I really am excited to talk to you about. So let's go again to the close-up cam over here. So this, as you can see over here, has a few courses over here. The first one is the regular brew course. So this is anywhere between four cups to 12 cups. This is where you would go ahead and, and press brew. Now, the one that I'm currently using right now is the one to four cup pre-infused course. Now, the difference between this is that uh, this one is pre-programmed to brew smaller quantities. And because of that, there is more interme intermediate uh, cycles of, of the water going down into the coffee, uh, coffee grounds, which allows to extract the coffee grounds more and allows for a very consistent brew, even though there is less uh, quantities in it. So that is the one we're currently doing right now. Next one is my personal favorite. I actually use this one a lot because I love iced coffee. So this is the iced coffee course. Now the iced coffee course, what it does is that you can see over here, this one is very uh, unique actually. As you can see that there is the hot coffee over here. And then you can see over here, we have the iced coffee portion, which shows six to eight cups over here. Now, because it is six to eight, it is pre-programmed to make a specific uh, iced coffee brew that is very concentrated and it is perfect for iced coffee. So what happens once you brew the iced coffee, you would go ahead and drop in the ice cubes in here where the coffee brew will chill the, the, the coffee and then it will become ice afterwards. Now for this course, the, the heating plate down here will automatically shut down once it's finished. So you can go ahead and put your iced coffee over here using the iced coffee course. Then we have a cleaning course. Now this one I'll get into details about later. And last but not least, we have the brew trimmer. Now, do you ever wake up and you just don't have enough time to make coffee? Or maybe you do have enough time, but you're going to be rushing to wherever your next destination is. Well, with the brew timer, you can set it up at whatever time whether you're going home and you want coffee made for you or whether you're waking up to fresh uh, brewed coffee, the timer will help you out with that. Okay, so right now we are currently waiting for this to finish. Um, currently, this is what makes these coffee makers so unique and so different from our other coffee makers. So these features that I'm about to talk to you about right now, they're only available in these brews. So currently I see right now this uh, dome over here, this brew dome, there is water being splashed up to the dome over here, the brew dome. And because it is a dome like the, the water is splashing up to it. And then the water is then dripping down into the shower dome over here. Let me just quickly show you. So the, here is the dome. It's right here. And then the, the water kind of drips down into the shower dome, which then kind of filters down into the coffee grounds for, you know, even and consistent saturation and of course a consistent brew. Now to kind of better understand this, go ahead and watch the video you see on the screen right now. So do you see how it's kind of like spraying up to the dome and then it's kind of just dripping down and then that is where we get very consistent uh, brewing in these coffee makers. So that is one of the features that I personally really love. The next feature is of course our taste tuner, which we talked about earlier. Now let's go again over here in the close-up so you can really kind of see what I'm talking about. So the taste tuner is over here. You could go from classic. Again, it's a very light 
and smooth brew. If you go all the way to bold, it is more of a strong brew. Again, you can go anywhere in between. If you want somewhat brew, but not too much, you could go over here. If you want to just be right in the middle, of course, you could put it over here as well. And again, these are the things that you could kind of just experiment on your own and just be like, hey, I kind of like this over this. And of course, throughout the day, you can even schedule your weekly coffee, cups of coffee. So for example, uh, just as you see in the screen, on Monday, you can go ahead and uh, have, for example, your regular cup of coffee. On Wednesday, you can have your classic cup of coffee. On Friday, you can have your coffee with milk. On Saturday, you can have your bold cup of coffee. And last but not least, any day of the week that is hot, you can have your iced coffee. So you can see how this really adds a lot of versatility and a lot of variety with just these coffee makers. Now, in addition to those very cool uh, features, these also, again, as I said, make up to 12 cups of hot coffee and eight cups of iced coffee. So, in addition, they brew coffee at a consistent 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the optimal temperature for brewing the best tasting coffee. Okay, so that was a lot of, you know, things I just talked about right now. If you have any questions at all whatsoever about these new uh, dome brew coffee makers, please do let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to answer that for you. All right. Uh, Mary Ann, does it have an automatic shut off? So thank you for asking that, Mary Ann. So we do have two models over here. The, the programmable one you see over here does have an automatic shut off. So it'll automatically shut off after two hours. And of course, as I mentioned earlier with the ice cores, as soon as it's done brewing the very concentrated uh, brew coffee, it'll automatically shut off for the ice cores. However, for the classic version over here, it is not programmable. So once you are done making your hot or iced coffee, you wanna go ahead and with this very easy single switch operation button, go ahead and just turn that off. Okay, so yeah, thank you very much. That was a good question. Okay. Okay, let's see. Laurel Bashilis, I hope I'm getting that right. So Laurel Smith, they look great. The simple one looks like the one I'd go for. The simple one right here, yes, it's very nice. Again, they brew, brew coffee with the same quality. Again, it, it just matters, do you want something simple or do you want something with added features? Okay. Um, so let's see if we have any questions over here on the YouTube. So we are multi-streaming again, again. Happy Friday, you know, do you have any plans this Friday? Go ahead and do let us know down in the comments. Okay, Times Ryan, thank you again for joining us. Uh, this is the new one featured in this month's So Jerusha Insider Newsletter. Yes, this is the new one featured in this month's newsletter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, so what causes it to be a lighter or more bold brew? So yes, the area where the water hits the ground will affect the flavor. So the taste tuner redirects the water to the right place to get you into the select brew strength. So yeah, thank you for asking that. Okay, so yes, it really does, uh, you know, it, it depends. So you can kind of see over here that as you move this, the shower head over here is, is moving up. Actually, let, let's go over here to this one over here. So you see that I'm moving this right here. What we were saying that when you move this, you can see that this also moves and where the water hits the ground coffee, that allows it to have a more bold or light taste. Okay, so yes, thank you for watching. Uh, the next thing, now that we talked about these uh, coffee makers, now I do wanna note that like most of our products, you can actually clean them. They uh, disassemble for ease of cleaning. So let me just quickly show you what I mean. Over here, once you open the lid, you can see you can push down over here and remove the shower head. Now with this, again, we do recommend that you wash it after every use for uh, maintenance and longevity, as well as the coffee filter basket over here. You can remove that. This is where you would put the coffee uh, filter. And again, you would just remove the coffee filter. You could throw that and clean this as you wish. 
And the same goes for the glass carafe. You could easily remove that and wash it. However, one thing I do want to note that for the programmable one over here, the ECESC120, it does have a cleaning feature, which I do want to go over here to the close-up, just so you can see what I'm talking about. So, over here, you can see that we have the cleaning feature button. Let me just quickly kind of press that so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see over here. And in order to use this, so this essentially what it does, it cleans the coffee from the inside out. So the way you would clean it is that you would get this glass carafe, kind of mix in some uh, lukewarm water. And we recommend that you get the citric acid cleaner, which is, uh, again, you could purchase it in our shop. You would want to get one of these packets. Go ahead and just put the solution in here. Put the water, mix it around a little bit. Once it's dissolved into one piece, you want to go ahead and put it all the way to the top. And just like any uh, coffee brew, you want to put it in the water tank. Once it's in there, again, you always want to make sure that the glass craft is in there. You would go, just like a regular, you're brewing uh, a cup of coffee, you would go clean. You would go ahead and brew. And just like that, it'll clean it in about one hour to 1.5 hours. And you can see that it's currently cleaning right here. It's going this uh, little square over here in circles. We are not cleaning anything right now, so let's go ahead and turn that off by pressing the off button. Okay, so going back over here. So as you can see, you really could clean everything uh, very thoroughly. Again, this is a very uh, sleek and compact uh, coffee maker that makes up to 12 cups of coffee. So now that the coffee is made, let's go ahead and take a look. So this made, this brewed a perfect four cups of coffee. So now that we have this coffee, let's go ahead and of course, if you're drinking it, uh, you know, with your, your spouse, with your family, you can go ahead and pour their share of coffee, just like that. And we've actually designed the, this part over here so it actually doesn't drip coffee. So a lot of times you'll see that, you know, these, you kind of like push it back and then it starts kind of like, dripping coffee over here or dripping water, these will prevent that the way that it's specifically designed. So again, you could put the coffee right there for yourself. You could put it for your family. Go ahead and pour that right there. And just like that, you can have morning coffee. Okay, perfect. So uh, again, one to four cup course, very easy. Uh, for uh, about the max 12 cups, it will take about 14 minutes and I did mention that we do have a great offer, especially this President's Day weekend. And of course, I am talking about a free mug that will be included with any purchase of either of these uh, home dome brew coffee makers. So what are we giving away? We are giving away one of these, the SMSD 48 BC, which is a 16 ounce silky black mug. Let's go again to the close up so you can get a better look at it. So let me actually move this to the back. Over here, you can see that it is a very nice, very slick design over here. So, um, like most of our mugs, uh, they have double wall vacuum uh, insulated technology that allow, you know, to retain temperatures, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, for a very long time. And really, nothing says better than Let's Drink Coffee than one of these mugs. So, let's kind of quickly see the, the details of how they work. Over here, you can see that there is a uh, lock and unlock feature. Now, when you go to the unlock, you can easily open it like that. When it is on the lock feature, you cannot open it, right? So this will, of course, prevent uh, water, coffee, tea, whatever it is you're putting in here from spilling onto the ground. In addition, you can remove the top. And over here, you like most of our uh, appliances, you could disassemble them for ease of cleaning. So over here is the gasket. Now, this is what stops the water from spilling. Over here, you can remove it. You can, of course, put it over the sink, wash it, rinse it, and the mouthpiece as well. So the mouthpiece, you wanna push down over here. Once you push down, it'll easily come off for even easier cleaning, as you can see right here. Okay, so just like that, uh, you can use your, uh, your mug. All right, so let me actually put this back and Okay, now that you've drank your morning coffee, you can even take your coffee to go. Go ahead and pour the rest over here. And as I mentioned, 
since um, since this is a double wall vacuum insulated and we just made hot coffee, it will retain this temperature for a very long time to help you out throughout the rest of your day. Okay, so just like that, again, you cannot miss this offer. It is buy one of these, either of them will do it. You will get a free mug. And I hope, again, this is something that you just are looking forward to. Again, it starts today all the way up until next week on February 23rd. So if you're looking for a, a coffee maker that is sleek, it's compact, and on the bonus, you want to get a free mug, then you cannot miss this. Again, you can buy it at shop.sojirushi.com. You can go ahead and just look at the video description and it'll send you to our shop where you can go ahead and purchase it. Now with that said, if you do have any last questions, go ahead and feel free to ask. Alrighty. So the last thing I do want to end the live stream with is a review that we have over there in our shop that I think really describes our coffee makers. So this is by Peggy B for EC ESC 120, this one over here. Now she says, I love my dome brew programmable coffee maker. It brews up to 12 cups, which I like the large capacity. Yes, it's 12 cups, very large. The shower dome feature helps disperse the water evenly over the grounds for a consistent brew. You can control the brew strength uh, from light to bold. It comes with a coffee scoop for easy measurement. Right here. And uh, so just place the filter and the scoop in the grounds. Follow the directions for the best results. There are automatic programming options to choose from. I love iced coffee. So I was thrilled there is an iced coffee course. It takes about 14 minutes to brew 12 cups of coffee and to set uh, and about six minutes to brew four cups. There is a 24 hour brew timer, which is right here, and which allows you to set the time of the day you would like the coffee to brew. It is a time saver for me, especially on busy mornings. There is also a clean function, which is convenient. The coffee maker is easy to set up and easy to use. The coffee tastes delicious, just like a fancy coffee shop. Love, love, love this coffee maker. Well, Peggy B, thank you so much for that review. And last but not least, over here for the EC EJC 120, we did get a review by Shopper Lady 26. Okay, so it says, as an avid coffee drinker, I consider myself somewhat of a coffee connoisseur. This coffee maker delivers great tasting hot and iced coffee. It has a shower dome that sprays water evenly over the coffee for a consistent flavor. Simple, yet attractive. It has a taste tuner so you can adjust the desired strength of your coffee, classic to bold, as well as a handy pause feature. Nice quality coffee maker. Also wanted to mention that it came in a very well packaged. Love it. Well, Sharper Lady 26 also thank you for your review. And with that said, that is our home, uh, home brew coffee maker. Again, now all the way up to February 20, 23rd, you can buy one of these and get a free mug right here. Okay, thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one.